Hey y'all, a lot of people ask about how do I find sand dollars? Beach Bum and Dad, how do you find so many sand dollars? So today we're going to learn about some of the best locations to find them, how to find them, what to look for, and even a couple in-field quiz questions. So stay tuned and let's go look for some sand dollars. Many people believe that sand dollars can only be found in gift shops. However, I have been fortunate to find them from Marco Island all the way to Pensacola Beach in the Panhandle. When planning your sand dollar vacation or day trip, I would shy away from Florida's east side and focus on the Gulf Coast. Some of the places I've had my best success have been Marco Island, St. George Island, Shell Island, and many of the communities on the Emerald Coast. To recap, go to the communities where the sand dollars are. Most all of us get afraid when someone says to study. However, since we're talking about something fun, we need to check through books, and I have a couple suggestions in the description section. We need to go online, see what people are talking about as far as where the the best spots are at the moment and also it's important that you should take notes from your trips so that you can look back in the future and say hey i remember being at this beach or this beach under these conditions and you know writing down the types of shells that you found and while you're online you should be checking the weather forecast and the surf forecast if the surf forecast is calling for high wind and waves probably not going to be finding any shells and depending upon your location, you also want to check for the, the tides. It's been my experience that during the winter in the Panhandle, with our extremely negative low tides, when the sandbars are exposed, it's kind of fun walking out there. And if everything's aligned properly, you can really find some nice white sand dollars out on those exposed bars. Have any of you ever saved up for a certain color vehicle? Maybe a Mustang, a beautiful Corvette, a truck, and the day you purchase it, it seems like the lot must have emptied out of those vehicles because now everyone has one. The reason I ask that is your brain sees what it wants to see. If you are looking for sand dollars and you know what they look like, you know the different shapes they come in and you study before you go out you will see sand dollars so these are all sand dollars that I found in the Marco Island area I generally find that the farther south I go the larger the sand dollars this is also one that I found down there. Never seen colors like that in the panhandle. So this one was found on St. George Island and this one was found on the Emerald Coast. Generally they don't get this size on the Emerald Coast. You find a lot of pieces and as a matter of fact this is the only one that I have found that large and intact on the Emerald Coast. So these sand dollars came from a trip to Shell Island just off of Panama City Beach. And in the course of a couple hours, I was able to get way over 100 sand dollars and then I was called away. Well, look at that, a flat in there. But you can see these aren't as large as the ones farther south. So as you can imagine, these are quite hard to find when they're mixed in with other shells. So let's look at the shapes of the sand dollars. And let me point out a couple things that you should be looking for. Again, since they come in all shapes and sizes, you're not always going to see this large and distinct sand dollar test. What you want to look for is the color, of course. If it's up against a dark background, 
such as the board here, they stand out very nicely, but sometimes they get covered up by other shells and you only see the corner or the keyhole. So sometimes when I'm out with people, I'll tell them, if you have one at home, take it in your hand and build some muscle memory. Stare at that, like the story of the truck. When you put this in your muscle memory, you're going to start seeing them. Look for the keyhole, look for multiple holes, maybe the edge of the star, maybe a curved part. Don't always look for a whole sand dollar because sometimes you won't see that. I have a pretty extensive shell garden so you should be able to see where that sand dollar is. Let's study these for a little bit before we go out in the field. So our first one is right there. All right, y'all have built up a little bit of muscle memory. You know what to look for. Here's a sample question before we go out in the field. How many sand dollars can y'all find? I'll give you a quick second. Okay, there's one on the top one on the right, and one down on the bottom. Did you all pass? All right, let's head out to the field. All right, y'all, enough of the classroom instruction. Let's take those skills off in the field and travel the state looking for some sand dollars. around here. There we go. Let's check this tidal pool. Nice. There's one. There's another one. Oh, that's a pretty one. Here's a little lower area where the water is still coming up. Let's see if it's washed any, any sand dollars or shells a little higher. A little bit higher here. Oh, look at this one. Beautiful, that one's nice and white. And one right next door. Cool scallop right there. All right, how many would find this one? Look at that one. Covered with just a dusting of sand. If I had been walking just a little bit faster, I would have missed it. I see a, a shellier spot up ahead and I think larger shells, larger shells, thinking there's a body that I can already see a sand dollar.
sand dollar, and beautiful sundry Venus. 50 cent sand dollar right there. Alright, just stand here for a moment and look. I think that's a piece of trash. A little piece of aluminum or something. Stand here and look. Oh, there you go. Look at that one. Y'all pick it out? Right here. Hunting for sand dollars. Have to look for edges, keyholes. Oh, there we go, there we go, down in the water. Look at that, just, oh, man, it got covered. Sand dollar make you holla. Especially when you, uh, you miss the alarm and show up late. Look at all the coquinas. This is a coquinaville here. Nice, yellow, some white ones. All right, I'm gonna stand right here. Y'all see if you can pick anything out. Y'all see it? A little sand dollar. You see 50 cents. Pause right here. You all see it? You see a dollar. Take a couple steps. I don't know if that's change or it's a dollar, but I see one. Some shells covering it. It's a dollar. How about this one? All right, let me set the, the shell bag down because I see several of them up ahead. Make it easier for me to, well, here's one off to the left. There's one there. Okay, there's one. I saw a couple more up ahead. See him yet? And I see one to the left. Let me grab these two. There's a small one. Y'all see it? If this video has been helpful, please hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll be seeing you all back out on the beach. Y'all take care.